Hello, Internet, and um, we're back on Showdown. <laughs> Seeing as um, I actually had quite a bit of fun using this team, um, you know, just now on the, on the video that hopefully you will have already seen uploaded, um, I'm just going to do a few more games because, you know, it is fun after all. Um, you know, it's, it's a, a competitive team, it's a little bit of a gimmick, um, but it works sometimes. <laughs> Well, depending on how you play it, it, it can be very nice. I like teams with, with lots of options, like I was saying in the last video. This team has got options because I've got a fast Togekiss and I've got the rest of the team being nice and slow that can be supported with uh, Trickum Jellicent as well. Now, this is... Um, okay, so the, the Clefable is a little bit potentially annoying. Um... I have got the Escavalier on this team to help with things like that, but I never seem to, to take Escavalier. Obviously, it's threatened by the Blaziken and the Zapdos as well. Um, but... How should we play this? Um, see, I'm quite, I'm quite happy to go with... Um, you know, I'm going to go with Togekiss and Jellicent here. This might seem really strange. Um, I'm going to take Rhyperia in the back, and... I'm going to take camera up to in the back as well. So this is very peculiar because I'm leading with both of my um, control Pokemon, basically. Um, but I'm doing it this way because um, Jellicent is actually quite nice offensively here. It can hit um, neither of these two Pokemon. But it can hit the Terrakion, it can hit the Blaziken, it can hit the um, um, Metagross as well. Um, now, Zapdos... It's probably just going to go for um, a, uh, well, an electric attack, you would think, wouldn't you? So, maybe I'm quite happy to bring Rhyperi in and go for a Trick Room. So, obviously, uh, if this Clefable starts minimizing, then we might be <laughs> in a bit, of a, um, a bit of a pickle. I could go for Trick. I can Trick the Scarf onto the Clefable. Um... But yeah, the Lightning Rod helps out there. Oh, so it is a minimized Clefable. Um, I get the Trick Room off, but the um, you know it would have been nice to you know I suppose get the get the scarf onto this Clefable and cripple it. But I get the Trick Room off. Um, you know I love you know if if any of you guys remember me using the uh, the Jellison in 2013, early 2013 with a Marowak. Um, this is just the same. Um, I've just got uh, Rhyperia on this instead of Marowak because Rhyperia resists Brave Bird, basically. That is pretty much the only reason why I've got Rhyperia on here. Um, but, um, I mean, Zapdos is probably going to switch out, isn't it? Um, but what is he going to switch to? See, nothing wants to uh, take any of these attacks, so I'm just going to go for a Rock Slide and a Water Spout. Honestly, I could set up a substitute with Rhyperia, but um, before this Clefable gets any more um, minimizers, I want to start hitting it while I potentially can. Yeah, so... Okay, so I missed the Water Spout on the Clefable. Um, now, this Suicune um, could be a little bit annoying. Um, my plant, the the, the Ice Plant, a Bomber Snow, um, <laughs> might have been quite nice in this as well. Um, because I'm expecting the, um, the, the Suicune could be a bit of a problem. Um, I'm just going to protect, and I'm going to go for a Shadow Ball onto Suicune. Um, just... Because it might bring it into Rock Slide Water Spout range, I'm, I'm doubting it. But unless, because I'm thinking Clefable's just going to go for another fo another a um, minimize here instead of a follow me. Um, okay. Well, I was right with the the minimize, but um, this is uh, potentially a problem now. Um, see, I could have got a substitute up there. Um, I I. It didn't occur to me that Suicune could protect there. Um, Suicune, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes they don't have protect, so maybe, maybe that's why I was, um, you know, in that line of thinking. But um, I think I'm just going to basically try and get a flinch here. I'm going to be naughty, try and flinch this. Um, in fact, I'm going to go for a rock slide and a shadow ball onto Suicune. Um, yeah. So okay. So some nice damage on the Suicune, um, or not. Um, but, uh, well, at least the Water Spout actually hits the, um, the Clefable. Okay, so I'm not sure why he did that. Um, he was probably expecting my uh, Rhyperia to um, switch out that turn, or protect. 
Um, well, or not protect, because I think I protected last turn, didn't I? Yeah, so um, he probably thought my Rapiri would switch out. Now, Cursed Body is quite common on Jellicent now, so he's probably trying to get a burn on that. Now, that move tells me that he probably doesn't have anything in the back that can take care of Jellicent um, while my Rapiri is around. Um, or maybe I'm just overthinking that. Um, I'm going to substitute with Rapiri here, and um, I'm going to go for another Water Spout, because if... Um, if I actually hit the Clefable, then that would be fantastic. So, <laughs> like that kind of worked out better for me. Um, okay, so we double protect. So at least I get a substitute with Rhyperi here. But that, um, <laughs> the cancel failing last turn actually worked out for me because um, I got the Water Spout off onto um, this, uh, this Clefable actually hit. Um, but I can protect with Rhyperia and basically just go for another Trick Room. Um, there's no way, like, he, he cannot stop me from going for a, a Trick Room here. So, you know, if he's got a Snarl, then he might go for it here. But, um, you know, a minus one Jellison. Jellison's weak enough already, so a minus one Jellison won't be doing any damage. Um, you know, maybe he, on the turn he scolded my um, Jellison, maybe he thought a camera might come in, or, I don't know. Only he will know what he was thinking, I suppose. But, you know, there's, there's no, grand clam, no grand plan behind this turn. It's just a, a pretty simple protect and trick room. Um, so, you know, the game is, is still young. We're, we're on our sixth turn there. Nothing's gone down. Um, which is quite strange for me because I like to use sort of fast, defensive, quick teams, don't I? Um, but I do have um, a little place in my heart tucked away for trick room teams. Obviously, I... Uh, you know, I used that Trick Room team in the early 2013 quite a lot, and um, that's really, you know, when I started becoming a bit better at this game. Okay, so, I mean, he 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 probably thought, well, he's just going to protect with Rhyperia, but he didn't really have anything that he could do to, to stop that. Um, now, the Suicune is probably going to protect this turn, um, but I'm just going to Rock Slide, and... Um, I'm just going to Shadow Ball the Suicune if, if it does protect, and that's fair enough. Um, I mean, the Water Spout again, if the Water Spout hits the Clefable, Build, then that, that would be very nice as well, but I kind of, yeah, not expecting it to. Um, so, you know, we're playing this very simply. Very, very, very simply. Um, and I think I can just. Um, I mean, he's not going to follow me, is he? Because he hasn't been using Follow Me at all. Um, so, I'm actually going to go for a Drill Run onto Suicune and um, a water spout. I'm going to change my moves up a little bit because maybe he'll, you know, if he's got Metagross in the back, maybe he might want to bring that in. Um, thinking that a um, Shadow Ball won't do too much damage to it or um, or maybe Blaze again, I don't know. <laughs> but it's always nice to switch your moves up. Um, as well, um, Drill Run is more accurate. Oh, well, I did not think he would go for Follow Me that turn. Um, that's quite interesting, um, and that's very bad for me. Um, it does mean that I can, you know, I've still got some turns of Trick Room left. I'm still not in the worst of positions, but because Rhyperia has gone down, um, his Zapdos could be a little bit of a problem now. But because I've got all these spread moves, um, basically, um, yeah, because I've got, because I've got all these spread moves, um, the Follow Me isn't as problematic as it could be. I'm actually going to go for a Substitute here. And, um, a, I'm just going to go for a Shadow Ball, um, because it'll, you know, get a bit of chip damage on the Suicune, um, a, a Water Spout, I think I said, uh, and if it hits the Clefable, then that's fantastic as well, but yeah, I thought he might, um, uh, protect his Suicune that turn, just to try and stall Trick Room out a little bit more, um, so, you know, nice substitute again. I'm going to Heat Wave and Water Spout this turn, because if he does go for a Follow Me, I didn't expect him to go for a Follow Me, because I'd just been spamming spread moves, um, but I suppose um, he was thinking, okay, he might need the Shadow Ball to get the KO on the Suicune, so um, I'll just go for a Follow Me that turn. So that worked out in his favour, but um, I think I'm still in an okay position here. Um, the problem is, if he um, you know, does get this Zapdos in, um, because I've got Jellicent and I have got... Um, Togekiss. Togekiss will outspeed Zapdos out of Trick Room, um, naturally, with the, you know, with the Scarf, obviously, so um, I can still play around with that. But, um, yeah, this game isn't as, it's not as straightforward as, um, you know, I thought it was a few turns ago. 
but uh, one more turn of Trick Room. I mean, you think he has to to switch or do something this turn that can, um, you know, help him basically stop my Trick Room next turn. That's quite funny. A critical hit on the Clefable. Um, it hit and got a critical hit. It's a shame it didn't take it out. Um, but I'm sure he's got to bring in the Zapdos now, hasn't he? Um, yeah, here it is. But, you know, if it hasn't got hidden power, then it can't really touch camera up. Um, so the thing is, I've not seen what his last Pokemon is. Um, if it's Terrakion, I mean, any all of these are weak to ground. So I think um, I'm just going to go for a Heat Wave and um, a Battle of Water Spouts. And I'm just going to go for a Trick Room. Um, if, you know, if... If I get Trick Room off, then that's fantastic. I've got Camera Upton and I can threaten. If he knocks Jellison out, I can bring Togekiss and just after you Heat Wave, after you Heat Wave. So, um, or, you know, Earth Power, um, depending on what he's got in the back. So I'm just hoping that I can knock this Clefable out at some point, hoping that my moves will hit it. Yeah, so we. Oh, Jellison actually survives. That's quite interesting. Or maybe not. Um, <laughs> and a Heat Wave, yeah, does a nice. And it hits the Clefable. That's nice. That's really nice. So I can bring Togekiss in now. Um, if... Um, oh, and he's just forfeited, yeah. So do we get to see? Yeah, it's Metagross. Excellent. So I could have just um, after you Heat Wave and um, win from there, basically. So very interesting game. Um, you know, as we're sort of climbing a little bit higher up the ladder, then um, my opponents are getting more competent and, uh, you know, these games are getting a bit more interesting. So um, again, the, the wonder of the, the, the two split options of the Trick Room and the Fast Choice Scarf uh, after you, it makes it makes this seem very interesting and very fun to play against us, uh, with as well. But um, all right, we've got a very interesting team here. Um, I'm sure um, this team's probably been published somewhere. It looks very familiar. Um, I'm going to lead with Togekiss and a Bomber Snow. I just don't want him to, um, like I said in the last video, I just don't want him to to have Fake out, you know, and lead with the Ludicola, which I'm sure he will do. Um, because Fake Out can be a bit of a problem for this team, but um, a Bomber Snow otherwise is pretty nice here. I'm taking Camera up as well, and um, I want Jellicent or a Scavalier. Um, I think I'm, I'm, I'm torn actually. See, if I don't take Jellicent, then I'm bank. I've got, I've got to look after two years. I'm just going to take Jellicent. I'm sorry, a Scavalier. I never take you. But um, Escavalier would have been nice to to get the X Scissor off onto um, the Ludicolo, but um, he hasn't led with it, so I'm just going to go for an After You and a Blizzard. Um, I don't think it'll one shot either of these, but it will do a lot of damage, and um, he might expect an After You. He might taunt the Togekiss here. Um, he might just attack it with a Thunderbolt. Uh, Metagross comes in, that's fine. After You, Blizzard. So he's, he is just going for a Thunderbolt here. Yeah, so Togek just takes that quite nicely. Um, I do threaten the Thunderous with, um, you know, a uh, obviously a nice move next turn. But his Metagross threatens my Bomber Snow. I do have the Sash on the Bomber Snow, um, so I could. I mean, the Bomber Snow is actually pretty nice here. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna switch um, Togek out for Jellicent, and. I think as long as I get rid of the Thunderous, I can get Trick Room up. Um, I don't know, maybe not happily because he's got the Hydreigon in the back. Um, but I'm going to bring Jellicent in and I'm just going to Blizzard. I mean, another thing about Blizzard is um, it can freeze your opponents as well, um, which is obviously fantastic. If he's got Bullet Punch, you might even go for that on Togekiss here. Um, or you could just taunt the Togekiss as well. But, okay, so he... Oh, so now he brings Ludicolo in. And he gets an head. So hopefully I don't flinch here. Oh, and I flinch. Okay, so the Blizzard would have been nice because I, I, I would have got some much, much, much needed damage onto this Ludicolo. Um, but I'm going to... Um, I'm going to Trick Room here. You can't use Fake Out on me. A uh, combination of Giga Drain and... Um, oh, actually, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't do that. combination of Giga Drain and... Um, Zen head, but probably will knock Jellison out, and I think he needs to target the Jellison here, so I'm just going to protect. I'm just going to go for a Blizzard. Um, if a Bomber Snow goes down, then that's fine. Um, I can bring Togekiss in and um, 
potentially get some momentum from there. Okay, Zen Headbutt, and um, yeah, he had to target the Jellicent there. So, okay, so I get a critical hit on the Ludicolo. That, you know, kind of makes up for the, the miss last turn. The hail damage is whittling away as well. Um, now, he's probably going to go for the same move again. He, he kind of has to. Um, really. But if, if I let him do that and um, sacrifice Togekiss, then there's not really anything to stop him from doing that um, in the future. So, this is a little bit tricky. You know, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go for a Trick Room and I'm gonna go for a Blizzard, because if he knocks the Jellison out, then um, that's fine, I get a Blizzard off, I can bring Togekiss in and after you, Blizzard everything. Um, oh, Substitute. And Giga Drain. Okay. So Blizzard doesn't quite knock the um, the substitute out from Metagross, but um, I'm not I'm not too worried about that really. Another Blizzard will knock it out. Um, both of these. Oh, that's that's really awkward. See, this is um, this is something that I do actually. Um, sort of look into when I do team build. Like if I'm ironing this team out, both of these have got um, the same base speed, so they've both got basically the exact same speed stat here. Um, I would make one of them one point faster than the other so that I know um, which order they're going to move here. Obviously I would much rather a Bomber Snow go first here so I can Blizzard and then get the Shadow Ball off onto the Metagross. Um, but it might not work out like that. Um, I mean, I think a Blizzard should knock the Metagross out, like, you know, from where it is anyway. Um, so, I don't know, the Ludicolo is still a problem. I'm going to go, for, actually, for a Shadow Ball and a Blizzard. The, Met the Metagross might even protect here. Um, but I want that Ludicolo down. Okay, so at least the, um, yeah. The Ludicolo's gone now, which is uh, very good. And he decides to get rid of the, the um, get rid of the Jellicent, which is quite interesting. Um, you know, we're, we're right at the beginning of Trick Room, so I'm fine to just bring Camera up in here now. So, I don't know, we'll see what he's got. We've seen um, Hydreigon, haven't we? The hail has ended, though, so I can't just spam um, Blizzard, unfortunately. Oh, and we saw Thunderous as well. So, we did, yeah, we did see Hydreigon as well. Um, so, you know, I'm feeling in a, you know, I'm in a pretty good position again. I've got Ice Shard on this, a Bomber Snow as well. Um, and he is just forfeited. Okay. So, we're 18 minutes in. I'll, I'll try and search for one more game. Um, these two games have gone quite quickly. Wow, he is actually quite high up on the ladder. Um, so, you know, again, it just goes to show that this team, um, with the surprises, it's, it's pretty unconventional. It can, you know, it can do some work. Um, I, I think I did have that game won, basically, because... Um, I had three more turns of Trick Room left for a Bomber Snow and um, Camera to basically just run over his team. So that worked out very nicely. Very nicely indeed. But here we go. We've got um, one more battle. And we've got. Um, okay. We've got an Aegis last year. We've got another Suicune. Um, now, the Suicune early was a little bit of a problem, wasn't it? But. Um, um, I managed to work around it. I did miss a Bomber Snow there. Um, so Bomber Snow, I'm expecting it's obviously a Mega, Mega Venusaur. Blizzard um, isn't super effective, obviously, so that is, you know, and it's threatened by a Sludge Bomb too, so. A Bomber Snow isn't the greatest thing to have against uh, Venusaur here. Oop. That is my phone. Um, sorry about that. Um... It's a very interesting ringtone, isn't it? <laughs> um, um, okay, so back into this. Um, what mode are we going to go with then? Um, see, I quite like I quite like Togekiss here, and um, I want something that's good against both the Thunderous and the Aegislash. And I think um, Rhyperia kind of fills that criteria. Um, Camerupt fills that as well, and I'm actually going to go with Camerupt. Togekiss camera up. So Togekiss is getting a bit more action this this game, um, this video. 
I think um, I've had Jellison in the back all of these games as well. Um, I still haven't used this Cavalier, have I? Poor Cavalier. Um, but I think I don't know. Um, see, this this um, Venusaur could be a little bit of a problem. I think. Um, oh, I think I'm I'm, I'm going to take Jellison, and I think I, I'm going to take a Cavalier. So um, I hope you're going to do some work for me, a Cavalier. Oh, that's someone ringing my phone again. Um, it was a private number the first time, um, but it wasn't the second time. Let me just um, turn the uh, volume off. Um, okay, so, Togekiss Suicune. So, again, the Suicune is a little bit of a problem. Um, his, I mean, his, this Arcanine is probably going to switch out, really, isn't it? Um, but... Because Arcanine, I can't see Arcanine having any mileage in here. Um, he's going to switch it out and put something else in. Um, but this Suicune is a problem. Um, you know, maybe I want to even go for a Follow Me. Um, follow Me and just go for... Ooh, not a substitute. Go for um, an Earth Power. Just to get some damage onto this Suicune. I need to start whittling this Suicune down. Yeah, the Arcanine. Um, protect. Yeah, okay, so fair enough, we just go for an Ice Beam. Um, <laughs> okay, so, um, the cancel button obviously isn't working today. Um, but I can follow me again, and, um, now, <laughs> now I want to start getting some damage onto this weekend. If he just Ice Beams, um, and Flare Blitzes the Togekiss, then it will go down, but, um, but I'm in a good position. From where I am. Or maybe you won't. He's not even flare blitzing it. Okay. Oh, and that's a nice, that's a really nice 50% on there. Um, so now he's probably going to go for an extreme speed and a scald, really. So I'm actually going to bring Jellicent in and just protect with camera up to you. Obviously, extreme speed won't do anything to Togekiss. Um, I get to pres preserve Togekiss for the future. And. Um, yeah, hopefully it'll work out for me. Now I've got my Trick Room option. So yeah, Extreme Speed and a Skull, yeah. Yeah, exactly how I thought it would work out. Now, um, I can Trick Room. He can't stop this Trick Room. And um, he is probably just going to go for another Scald. Um, the question is, do I want to go for another Substitute? Um, or do I just want to go for a Knockout? Now, I think... Um, See, I think I just want to go for a knockout. I'm just going to go for an Earth Power on this Suicune. When the Suicune's down, um, I'll be a little bit happy, but I do want this Arcanine down as well. Um, okay, that worked out nicely. Um, yeah, very good. Okay, I think it was uh, something to do with the, uh, the Landlord. Um, Trying to contact me. But, oh well, whatever. Um, okay, so he's got Aegis Slash in. Um, now, he could Wide Guard. Um, I have got Water Spout. I do want to get rid of this Arcanine. Um, it did just protect as well, so I'm, I'm kind of free to Earth Power that slot. But if I do Earth Power it, um, he could bring. Um, well, I suppose the Thunderous in to resist that, but I don't want to Shadow Ball the Aegislash Slash, basically, because I don't want to um, give it a weakness policy boost. So I am just going to target this Arcanine. When Arcanine goes down, then um, I can work a little bit freer as well. Okay, nice. So I don't think... Um, oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't think a Shadow Ball will knock Camera up from, um, out from where it was, but now he's got that extreme speed damage onto... Um, camera it might do, but he has just, um, oh yeah, oh here's the um, Venusaur, so I'm glad that I've got these two in the back. Um, now I'm free to just Shadow Ball and um, Earth Power this um, Aegislash. So this should knock it out, he did just um, King Shield with it that turn, so he's trying to stall these Trick Room turns out, but, um, oh the might of both of these Pokemon, oh the Earth Power just knocks it straight out itself. Um, Okay, that's fantastic. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying this team, I, I must say. This team is working out really nicely for me. So, um, 
yeah, we've been going a little while. We've been going 25 minutes now. So I hope you've, you know, again, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Um, thanks for watching it. Please, again, feel free to um, support the channel, like and share it, do everything else that um, you know YouTube allows you to do. Um, but as long as you've enjoyed it, that's you know obviously the most important thing. So thanks, <laughs> thanks a lot, guys, and goodbye for now.